Good morning everyone and I hope you're all well. Welcome to this video where I'm going to be discussing the total cost of starting a recruitment agency. Now what I'm going to go through is basically how much it's going to cost for you to have in your bank or how much you have to spend in order to get a functioning recruitment agency. Now there's a few essentials and I'm going to go through the things that are sort of optional and I'm going to end up with the total cost of how much it's going to cost. This may surprise you and the reason being it's quite a low entry position you might you probably think recruitment agencies are you know quite costly they can cost a lot however there are you know once you get established and you know money's coming in there is a lot more running costs but to start up it's pretty much peanuts Um, it's probably less than most uh, you know companies and agencies and I'm gonna go through everything now so essentially what you're gonna need now these are like my five top criteria is that you're gonna need if you don't if you miss one of these chances are your agency doesn't look as good it won't function as good and this is at a minimum so what you're gonna need is you know some sort of phone a VoIP now that's that's the reason for that is obviously you need to talk to clients you need to talk to candidates on the phone um, at some point whether it or not it's a scheduled call or you're gonna be cold calling you can have that the cost of it is probably gonna be about five to thirty pounds a month now if you use your personal mobile that you're already paying for you won't have any issues with that Secondly, website, um, contrary to popular belief, websites are actually free. If you use WordPress, you can probably buy a theme for about 30, 40 pound. But there are a lot of free themes that I can recommend if you want to get in touch with me. Do email me, my link's in the description below. Um, the most important one is hosting. You're gonna need hosting. I recommend and I use Bluehost um, for my blogs and for my recruitment websites, I use Bluehost. Costs about 60 pounds for the whole year. And that's total so what is that about five pounds a month and um, you have to pay up front 60 pounds I'll leave my link in the description below if you want to use my link I get paid a commission if you do use it and um, if you do I'll be happy to talk you through how to set everything up um, off of that as well the main name you can buy from like GoDaddy so let's just add GoDaddy in there and what I'll do is I'll, I'll have this presentation on my website so I'll link that in the description as well and GoDaddy, what it looks like is you buy the name for a year. Um, I think if you buy .co.uk, they've got a special price where you get one year free. So buy two years and it costs about £11, something like that. And you own the name for two years. Lastly, business email. You're going to use um, a business email. So it's going to be on your domain name. So your domain name will be, you know, best recruitment agency .co.uk. And you will have your, whatever your name is. Um, so it would be cads at and that's how it is and um, per email address you would have that down outlook works out to be about seven pounds per month and G Suite which is Gmail so Microsoft Outlook or G Suite Gmail would be about five pounds a month and that's a running cost G Suite is about I think four four pound fifty Outlook is about I would say seven six seven pounds per month depending on what package you buy um, from that so there are like a 12 pound package with that so I'll let you look into that um, off of that now business essentials what you're going to be needing around your business and um, will be a registered company now you're obviously going to need a registered company in that you'll get a business account as well so that's the sort of essential around that you can't get a business account without a registered company um, so you're going to have to have that to receive payments um, off of that. Nobody's going to really look take you seriously if you're paying into your personal account, unless you say, look, I'm a freelance recruiter, and then you have to be registered self-employed off of that. Um, so this is obviously just a startup. I'm not getting into accountants. I'm not getting into software for accountancy, um, but later on I will. LinkedIn page, you're going to be looking at free, of course. Any this goes for any social media page. So if you're setting up Facebook, Twitter, set them all up. It is, I would say, essential with regards to that. And also a, a place to post your adverts, which is indeed the employer account at the moment. It's free to post adverts. There are paid packages, but you can pay, post adverts and you start to receive candidates from there. And you also get candidates from LinkedIn as well. So works perfectly. Those two are going to be your main sort of candidate acquisition off of that. Now the optional extras, this is probably when you start get the, getting the ball rolling. I only want to touch on it briefly. Um, however, you know, Total Jobs, CV Library, Read, Indeed, Monster are all sort of CV searching. They've got a big database of people. You can go on there, you can search, um, you know, accounts payable person or, you know, finance manager 
search it and what you'll do is you'll, you'll find a number of CVs in the local area so like a search database um, similar to Google or any anything like that Monstar um, you can look at Apollo IO which is has a free um, package as well LinkedIn uh, freelancer as well so these four I mean indeed I put that there because um, it's 200 pound a month and you get 100 credits I think if the person's you, you can message um, search for CVs the same way as others but you get it works off credits rather than a monthly subscription like total job CV library read and monster I would go in that order um, CV library probably would cost you about 300 pounds per month depending on your package where you can post adverts and you can also um, recruit um, people directly um, via their CV and just email them search so I would start off with CV library cost about if you pay for the year it's about 3,000 um, 600 3,500 plus that um, or around 300 a month read and total jobs are around slightly more expensive and you're looking at about three four five hundred for those and monsters the most expensive and probably the worst out of the five but if you really want to have your your sort of your reach more um, then I, I ended up buying monster once but I, I cancelled it from there so indeed perfect I would recommend buying this 200 pounds a month so you would budget about 2,400 per year as well off of that and it gives you 100 credits and you get some credit credits back as well and um, if the people don't reply they're not interested so it can work well um, Apollo as well Apollo IO is what I use to find email addresses um, off of LinkedIn I've made a few videos on that so go ahead on my channel and look at that or just type Apollo.io review and, I, and my video will come up LinkedIn as well LinkedIn recruiter you're looking at less than a hundred pounds off of that um, it could be anywhere from 50 to 100 pounds per month and they do give a free trial as well so you can use it to search candidates or you could x-ray search it's totally up to you and if you do want to speed things up you can obviously use freelancers which cost about 20 to 30 dollars for 100 leads and um, if you want a good quality sort of freelancer so that's pretty much the video that sums it up total cost of the agency is going to be around a hundred pound to start up if you use my methods in the in the second slide they're the essentials to set up running cost is probably going to be about five to twenty pounds per month so you're looking at maybe 200 220 pounds per year um, and that that would essentially have you an agency up and running you could start it now you could you know leave it for three months you can look look to launch in January next year you know July whatever you want to do you can run a seasonal agency where you're you know recruiting for people I don't know for Christmas time only um, and that, that you can literally just leave it dormant for the rest of the year it barely costs anything to keep it running once you buy the job boards and everything like that CV library retail jobs it will obviously cost a bit more and you'll be more into the agency so you can actually start this part-time um, hands off it probably take you a day to set up actually so I hope this video helped um, in explaining everything and if you've got any questions my email is below um, by all means if you're setting up do get in touch I'll be happy to assist you with that